Hello everyone, how are you today? Are you ready to study? Okay. Today we study Unit Six F in your workbook. Now open your workbook on page twenty nine. First, I would like you to look at the pictures of the man. What does he look like? And what's his name? Now, can you guess what topic he will tell us about? First, I would like you to read question number one. What is the writer's main purpose in writing the text? You see, these questions ask for the main purpose of the text. So I would like you to read the whole text quickly to find the answer. Give me the answer. Did you aim to describe where he lived as a child? Where he lived? No. B. To talk about things that worry him. Things worry him. No. How about C. To say what his family life is like. To explain why recycling is important to him, you see, he tell us a lot about recycling. Now, you read each questions and underline the keywords in the questions, then find the answer in the text. Uh, number two, what would a reader learn about Ken from the text? A. He is very good at his job. B. He has very strong beliefs. C. He likes living in the city. D. He finds recycling difficult. 
the correct answer is B. Can you show me the evidence in the text? You see, he said that I like telling other people about this and enjoy the fact that they quickly realize how easy it is to become environmentally friendly. I'm very lucky that I can make a living doing this. Is that right? Question 3, please. What does the writer say about his family? Which is your answer? 8 is the correct answer. Why do you A? They share his beliefs about recycling. In the text, you see that my parents taught me how important it was to say water, conserve energy, and of course, recycle waste. And another sentence, my family and I, as well as most of the people I know, use the green beans every week. For us, returning bottles and cans has become a habit. Number four, please. What does he say about the planet? A. A few people are doing. A few people? No. B. Recycling is only part of. Only? No. C. Is everybody's duty to have say? Yes. So C is the correct answer. You see in the text. The very least I can do, the very least we can all do is help out just whenever we can. If we don't, one day we may find that just will stop helping us. Right? Before we move to exercise 2, I would like you to do the small task matching. Now you read the words in column A and find out the words in column B, which is nearly the same in meaning. Do you understand? Okay, 30 seconds for you. Let's check place number one, crucial. This is essential, necessary, okay? Number two, major, man. Number three, threat. It means danger, risk. Number four, rich, wealthy. Prosperous. Number five, incredibly, unbelievably. Okay, the job. Let's do exercise 2. You read sentences from 1 to 6 and fill in the blanks with harm, wrong, rich, danger, crucial, and threat. Yeah. 
this. Let's check this. Number one. New technological plays a major role in reducing global warming. Number one, wrong. Number two, rich. Rich is something. Number three, crucial. This medicine is crucial for people. Number four, home. Home to many unusual creatures. Number five, danger. In danger. Number six, threat. Major threat. The last exercise for you, number three, dictation. You listen and write. Are you ready? Let's start. Unit 6F. Exercise 3, page 49. Dictation. Our planet is shrinking. The Earth's population is increasing but its resources are limited. Millions of people are already starving. Unfortunately, a lot of the Earth's soil is contaminated with pesticides and fertilizers, and it is difficult to grow crops. Listen and write. Our planet is shrinking. The Earth's population is increasing. But its resources Are limited. Millions of people are already starving. Unfortunately, a lot of the Earth's soil is contaminated with pesticides and fertilizers and it is difficult to grow crops. Listen and check. Our planet is shrinking. The Earth's population is increasing, but its resources are limited. Millions of people are already starving. Unfortunately, a lot of the Earth's soil 
is contaminated with pesticides and fertilizers and it is difficult to grow crops. Can you finish? Let me help you with some work. Can you hear the word shrinking? Shrinkage is means becoming smaller. Okay? Can you hear the word starving? Starving is means very hungry. And the word contaminated Contaminated is meant poisonous or polluted. Right? Now, let's check, please. Okay, we finished the lesson today. Goodbye, see you later.